Hi guys, Alex here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the video called Amberlynn Reed, We Need to Talk by Nicocado Avocado. Now, we did take a look at his previous videos about Amberlynn, which were parody style videos, and we did enjoy those to a certain extent. Now, since then, there has been some follow up from Amber herself that she does not give a crap about Nicocado's indiscretions. But then she also said in a follow up video that she was very hurt by the videos when Nicocado had talked about her in his previous videos. We know that she actually had a personal relationship with Nikocado in the past. They had exchanged phone numbers. They were texting. I know that she did like his friend Carly Steele and that they would talk to each other. So I just have to wonder what exactly went wrong. Now, what has been going on with Nikocado lately? There seems to be a cycle of drama when it comes to his videos. You know, it's like one day I'm with Orlin, one one day we're broken up. The next day we're getting married, right? And I'm just tired of the cycle because we know that it's all fake. Fake, 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 fake right? So what makes this any different? Well, I feel like Amberlynn was really hurt by Nikocado's videos, but there is a part of me that thinks that maybe this still is an elaborate collab between the two. Who is really to know for sure? So let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? All right, you guys, like I said, this is from the video, Amberlynn Reed, We Need to Talk, and it's at the hour mark and two minutes. So yeah, I kind of had to get through a lot of nonsense to get to the real meat and potatoes of the video. What are you doing, Nick? Okay, come through with the blue light glasses. What is it with these? I have to say I bought mine because of Amber and I saw them at Target. I think that's where she got them as well. The thing is, do they actually work and do they actually do anything? That is the real tea of this video, honestly. Let me know what you guys think about that. That's the real tea. How about I wear these glasses and talk about how people discuss me while simultaneously uploading myself to the internet. And so I think it's funny that he decided to title the video Amberlynn, but then he decides not to really mention her name in the video. I mean, which is it, right? But he decides to get into character by putting on the blue light glasses. Make money off of um, vulnerable people who will believe everything I say. Let's just put these glasses on and do that. What happened here? Why has he decided to turn his back on Amber? Hmm. What's the true tea, Nick? Spill it. Can we also talk about the disgusting display of gluttony? <laughs> it's just never ending. I'm honestly just waiting for the day when Nick Okado decides to stop and turn things around. I said on Twitter, I think that he is going to one day stop. He's going to turn into like some sort of weight loss channel. And since he has repeatedly said that he doesn't need the food, he just uses it for entertainment purposes only. Maybe he will be a weight loss success quickly and then he'll be on talk shows. <laughs> that was my thinking. I think that's his next move when he finally decides to stop. Who knows when that will be? How far will you go, Nick? Huh? How far? Had enough yet? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep these glasses on and just lie to people. And keep lying and lying and lying. Del knowing exactly what I'm doing. But crying boo hoo. Poor me, poor me, poor me. Poor me. Boo-hoo, poor me. She said that he cried. Everyone she cried. To get me, I don't know why. I know why. And I'm going to say it on purpose because I know it will 
feed fire to the flames, you know, it'll trigger people. I'll just say, I don't know why, so they get triggered and they comment more and YouTube promotes my stuff more because more comments means more attention, more money. I would just like to know what they were talking about when they did have, uh, when they were texting, right? I can only imagine. I feel like they were probably discussing like trolling techniques, like this is what I do to get a rise out of people. This is how I get clicks and views. It's kind of rich coming from Nick because he does the exact same things. No, oh, but you know, I'm so honest. As far as the clickbait and trolling goes, I mean, nothing on Nick's channel is real. Oh, 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 what can I say today? Oh, yeah. I'm scared to be myself because people will twist it. This is, reverse this is reverse psychology over here, but people don't need to know that. Oh, no. Okay. So is Amberlynn making bank off of the fact that she knows that people dislike her? I mean, that's not really anything new to us. But doesn't Nick do the exact same thing? No. I don't like people. You know, I'm going to come on YouTube and say, we're done discussing my body or my health. Even though a week later, I'll be doing a try on haul so people can look at the body. Well, yeah. And talk about it and discuss it. Um, it's the trick of the trade, sure right? I, that I don't like that. Because if they know I don't like it, people will go do it because they want to make me upset because they don't like me. But I make sure they don't like me because that's my brand. Okay. I feel like there are people who watch Amberlynn that kind of know what's going on, right? We know that she uses these tactics. That's why she uses the thumbnails that she does. It's no secret. I know it's like a running joke that YouTube picks her thumbnails. I mean, that's not the tea. They don't. Obviously, she's been picking her own thumbnails for quite a while now. And, you know, she knows how to get the clicks, right? You're either triggered or you're not, or you understand the joke of it all. We already know that tea, Nick, though. What's really going on here? Look at me eating all these greens. <laughs> Is that to balance and cancel out all the junk food? That's what I would assume, right? Yeah, after I just ate 5,000 calories of junk. Uh -huh. <laughs> How can you even, like, eat all that every single day? I just... And I like junk food. But you would think that he would just get sick of it after a while. Just search up on YouTube, Mikocado Avocado Taco Bell Mukbang. And like, you can scroll and scroll and scroll and there's more and more and more. It's just crazy. I should probably get going. I really just got really triggered at this video. Just, I get so, it's not even, it's not even just like, it's not disappointment. It's not, it's, it's like, I don't know what to do. And I just disgust. I just, I can't. He's disgusted by Amber. I feel like there is something that he knows that he is just not telling us. And it's like, Nick Akato, come on, spit it out. We need to know what's the real true tea. But it is Nick, so he's going to stretch it out as long as he can, right? Like, it's like, have you, have you ever watched Hoarders? Have you ever watched yes. a TV show where they walk into the house and they just go... Are you saying that she's a hoarder? <laughs> they can't even see the floor. They don't know where the room starts and ends. It's just mountains of stuff on top of each other. And there's a little path. And you're just... And there's stench. And there's rats. I mean, we it. see Amber's house. We know it's not like that. Or her apartment, right? She does have a little bit of a hoarding problem when it comes to earrings and journals. Around And there's a sense of darkness and evil. And you're just standing there. And you're like... There's so many things I could do. I could say. What should I say? What should I do? do just Im just is there something oh. behind the scenes that we need to know that's dark 
Oh, oh, all right, this, this is, this is extreme. Like we all got messy houses. This is extreme, Nick. This is extreme. <sighs> that, that, that Fred, who's the, you know, there's a lot of laundry on the floor all the time. There's puppies running. It's very full of dog hair. We all got the friends that don't like to vacuum. Oh, you're just kind of like holding back the word vomit. You don't want to just say what's on your mind right away because it, it, it could be really insensitive. But then again, it's like this situation doesn't really deserve much uh, sensitivity because something has to be said. Something has to be done. It's just like, oh, that's what I feel like. That's actually a great analogy. A great, shine bright like a diamond. What's the tea? That's a great analogy. I feel like I'm standing Are in the house. Are your knuckles dark horse? now too? Did you go <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at that, eating healthy. I keep right. going. Yes, you do. Cause we make effort as YouTubers, as entertainers. We don't they give do. our audience the middle finger. And disappear. And by disappearing, <laughs> not talking, not even sh trying. Nope. Trying. All right, Nick, we see you. Um, I have to give it to Nick. That's the one thing that he does have is the persistence and the work ethic to put out videos. No matter what they might be, you know, they're usually hour long mukbangs every single day. Like, could you just imagine? Plus, whatever he puts out on OnlyFans and Patreon, like, I don't even know because I don't follow. But literally, I mean, that's the best. <laughs> Karina Kaboom, you've been wondering what's going on. Karina. I feel like I'm sick. <laughs> this, everyone, you watch Nika Karina. Nikakara is all up in this drama over here in the Amberlynn girl community, whatever you want to call it. He knows the tea. Nika Boom, send her this video. Is he watching her? you know her? who she is? She's, she's an OG. Human. She's an OG, so I can understand how he would remember her or watch her. Um, I feel like I'm standing in a house of hoarders. Wait, we're not horrors. Well, that too, but <laughs> hoard? It's like, and you walk in, it's your first time, and you're just like, you're numb and you're you turn to ice you freeze well what is the like, tea because we would expect you to know like a little bit more because you did talk to her behind the scenes and if this is how you feel now how did you feel back then and why didn't you speak up until now that's where i'm like what exactly is going on here i it's the most disgusting horrible thing you've ever seen or witnessed and it's also just like there needs to be some kind of sensitivity here. That's literally the best analogy for how I feel. Again, no names are ever mentioned. Um, okay. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. What do you think Nick Akato is talking about? I just spent an entire hour and a half watching this video behind the scenes, so please pray for me. It was a lot to get through. He ate a ton of food, and I will continue to wander what exactly is going on behind the scenes and what does he really know? Stop wasting our time, Nick, and just let us in on the true tea. All right, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will, of course, catch you guys in the, the next one. Bye, guys.